And it came to pass that I will fill thy mountains with the dead, thy hills, thy valleys, and thy streams filled with people slaughtered by the sword. I will make thee desolate forever, and then ye shall know that I am God. The serpent, the most subtle of any beast, entered the garden. Though it promised peace, hell followed with them. I've come for the girl, James. I just want to bring her home. And she is. Safe and protected in our garden. Free and innocent in our garden. Loved and sheltered in our garden. And how many people did you have to kill for that? She has a family. She had a family and you took that away. This earth, your world, detective, there is no such thing as safe, not anymore. For it is man, so in love with sin that he forsake himself only to find himself at the end, when in fact it was too late. I saved her from a world unwilling to change. You are not a prophet, James. But I am. And like one, they denied my every existence until they came begging for my help. Then help me. Help me take this girl home. There's no need for this anymore. People have died and that's on you. If you're truly a man of God, then you have the power to stop this. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Every sin, every injustice must be washed away then, and only then. You may find her. I'm not a religious man, James. Those who do not believe in God, detective, do so because they could not live with themselves if they did. So be baptized and set yourself free, if not for God, for the girl. Tell me, detective, do you fear God? No. I'm afraid of yours. You seem to have built up the perfect one in your image. And I wonder, is he as forgiving as mine? <laughs>